What's going on guys? Linus here. First of all, I want to apologize for not uploading this earlier. But as you know, I was really busy. At least I hope you guys know. I was really busy. I had a bit of a cold, which is still slightly, maybe a little bit going on. Um, so here we go. This is episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. I've heard it's quite short. Uh, so let's see if that's true. I just hope that there's more interaction this time around. Because Telltale has been... I don't want to say slacking, but in terms of interactivity, it's been going down a bit, I think. With, you know, less choices that actually matter, so I hope that we see more of that in this episode. Let's start episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. Go. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new, long with the queen. Alright, so that's what happened in the last episode. The ending was pretty crazy there. this oh it's her again what see you around this is a dream isn't it yep okay <laughs> hollow point bullets are a nasty business the silver slug deformed and shredded on impact he'll be okay though hmm? he'll be okay his internal organs are positively riddled if I don't extract every single scrap of silver he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis Easy there. Try not to move. Pick me. Oh man. Keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. That's disgusting. No okay. I for the pain. Just well, uh, my arm. Let me finish. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, oh man! Move it. Doctor. Look, Dude, that's disgusting. Saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. No, I don't want to do that. What is this? The Walking Dead again? Broker, set the bone. This is gonna be so disgusting, man. Mesh Q. What a disgusting mess of an arm. Move arm. Oh, dude, why do we have to do this ourselves? This is beyond disgusting. I don't like this at all. Look at that, the blood is like... Jesus Christ. Telltale, why? Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He At least Piggy's still here. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Um, I can hear this. There are yeah. To what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> yeah, 
Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Uh, I don't, I don't know. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. No, I want her to stay. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. He's my With friend. What? Your hooves? Hey, Don't distract listen, the doctor, guys. Back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Man, so it was pretty serious then. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm not gonna say anything. I'll try. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. I guess they don't they don't like each other. Not really sure why though. Swiney? I don't know what that is. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Um, yeah, I've seen him take worse. Yeah, don't worry about Not me, guys. Worse. Don't worry about me, alright? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. I'm glad you're not dead. So am I. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. Oh, so many feelings when here. Heart arrived. You know him, he's... I'm here for you. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. It's so romantic, this. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still... We need there? to get Crane. Crane he just does that, uh, mirror thing. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the Crooked Man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. Wait, does that it's mean he's dead? Crane anymore, Bigby. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. Thank it was you, a Snow. Decision. And I don't care how it looked. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? 
or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. Snow did what she had to do. Well, let's defend her. It's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Lone Shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? They made the wrong enemy. How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give um, him a leash. He doesn't work that way. We're doing a our best restraint here. restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. I had no other Guess choice. That was the only thing done, okay? that I could have done. done. And buried, and we can all move on. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Thank Ruby, you, Colin. I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Thank but this you, Colin. Is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He's my get friend. Get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to. I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a Whoa. fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. No, 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 I'm not doing that. Fuck happen. you. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Buffkin can use phones. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. That's awesome. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. I guess she Something knows something. Prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider you can the change over table, here. But not over. 
Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, Colin, you She's crazy pig. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Uh, I mean, no, of course she not. Real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I wouldn't right? do that to you. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't yeah. Thanks, Bigby. Friendship over rules. Fuck French. I mean, fuck rules, not friendship. Friendship is best. All right, let's go talk to this tripper. Oh, that's the intro? Okay. Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. We're gonna go talk to a stripper now. Always Hi, fun. Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Cigarettes are everywhere. I, um, are you okay? I've been you better. Didn't look good last night. Oh, holy shit! That's actually an I option. Wasn't sure, you'd be. Yeah, I've been better. Around. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. What's the difference? They're all cigarettes. It was a free cigarette I was offering you. Thanks. All right. So why There's are you no there? Oh. That I can talk about. You know that. Too late. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? 